Uh. Today, we're going back in time to check out the oldest BeamNG version available on Steam. And here it is. Check out this menu. Man, is this bad. <laughs> you got the uh, side menu bar thing we used to have not too long ago, actually. But the real weird thing is this. 1000 kilobit super compressed video we have as a background. <laughs> so yes, today we are not checking out the actual oldest MemeNG version, that would be 0 0.3, which was released back in August of 2013, I think. Why aren't we checking it out? I couldn't get it to run. But that is no big deal, because today we are checking out BeamNG 0.4, which was the first version to be released on Steam, way back in May of 2015. And do not worry, because at the end of the video, I will show how you can play this version yourself. But before that, it is time for some raw reactions. That is correct, I have never played this. So the only thing I've done so far is setting up the controls, and the other thing I changed were the graphics settings. I basically maxed them out. Let's play. And now people complain we don't have anything to do. Bro, back then you had scenarios and free roam, nothing else. Let's go three roam. We'll, we'll do scenarios another time, maybe. <coughs> what maps do you have? Oh my god, what the? <laughs> to be deprecated? No! Dry Rock Island. Actually, never played that. I've heard about it. And there's Jungle Rock Island, which is work in progress. So they're not the same map. And yeah, these are all the maps. But you know, there's only one correct map you can spawn on. For the first time. Derby Arena grid map. Here we go, boys. Oh shit, my headphones. Loading screen is really vi- What? And so here it is. The old grid map. I do not miss this. I actually have some nostalgia from the old grid map because I started playing when this was still a thing. We didn't have grid map v2 back in the day. But as for the actual like game itself, I don't really feel nostalgic about 0.4 because I never played it. So it's gonna be brutally honest. Let us see my controller turned off. Oh wow. Oh wow. Look at the D series. It doesn't look that different. I mean, we did get what two remasters. They did a great job of like keeping it authentic. As for the interior, man, you know what? It ain't that bad. I'm now gonna rev it. I think it's like the old sound. I think we did have it in 0.12 or whatever it was when I started playing. Oh man. Oh man. How does it red line? What the? It goes past the red line. What the hell? I'm gonna put it into gear and drive it. I think I did not map my controller correctly. It keeps resetting too. Oh my god. You know what? I would like to thank channel members for keeping me mentally sane. Kinda. And if you do want to waste money in the best way possible, channel memberships offer a one- Okay, we get it. You I'm gonna put it into gear. Why is it moving? Oh my, all right, let us check out the suspension. What the hell is this driving? Oh man, nah, this is rough. This is rough. Still better than any other game out today. But anyways, can we do the loop? Man, what are these crashing sounds? Look at it bouncing around, what? Oh wait, the glass actually breaks. That is not bad. Does she drive? No. But man, grid map, the original. Solid jump. Was a lot more interesting compared to what we have now. It feels kind of empty and disorganized. Don't get me wrong, I prefer the new one. But the new one does not have... The new grid map doesn't have a secret tunnel or whatever. Look at these exhaust. Ah, 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 we have mesh clipping, really bad mesh clipping. But yeah, basically you could go down here and there was a little cave or whatever. No cave? Oh man, what? I think it's on the other side. But man, the driving, let's talk about that. It feels bad 
It, it does not feel realistic, even remotely. It's like super arcade feeling. Like it sticks so much. And the gravity feels... it feels off, I don't know. Yeah, there's the cave. <laughs> no crashing sounds, even though we turn on the lights. Oh, wait, these are actually good. <laughs> this is actually better than what we have now. Look at the blue on that! Look at the blue on those lights! That is legit better than what we have right now. I think they got worse at some point. Like, at some point, they removed blue. Oh yeah, recovering vehicles is... suboptimal. Yeah, this is bad. The last thing I want to check out is a head-on collision. Let us see. I hate these crashing sounds. What the hell? Overall, 3 out of 10 crash. And definitely better than whatever you can find on Modland. You know what? We'll check out Dry Rock Island and Jungle Rock Island later to see if there are different maps or whatever. First of all though, Zmoil Island. Yes, please. Oh man, this is lush. What? Also, listen to these ambient sounds. These are much better than what we have right now. This ain't bad, actually. I think we should change car, though. Look at the pigeon. Oh my god. <laughs> but there aren't many cars. Oh. Wait, is that it? Oh, that's unfortunate. Anyways. No configurations. Do you at least have baby blue? What is this? Sea blue. Nah, man. Blah. <laughs> oh my god. Oh my god, it's so cute. <laughs> Oh, it's so weird. Pre-remaster pigeon is so goofy. Anyways, I'm gonna rev it now. It's the same sound. Nah, that is nasty. Look at the launch on this thing. Holy shit. We are zooming. How quick is it? This is the oldest pigeon moment. But yeah, as for the actual driving, bro, it's ass. It's... It's total shit. Like that, no crashing sounds when it bounces around. It's a little bit of off-roading. Man, this ocean sound. What happens if we go in the ocean? It just instantly dies. Oh, we're going down. Gentlemen, welcome aboard the pigeon submarine. This is... What? Look at it stretching around. What the hell? <laughs> This stretching effect, we need it back. Why did they remove it? Look at that white <laughs> Nah, underwater is actually better. Some things are legit better than what we have right now. But yeah, the driving is really nothing special. Compared to now, which basically feels real, just wait for them to add tire thermals and BeamNG will be the most realistic simulator. Seeing where it comes from, man have the devs been hard at work. Then again, they're probably locked into some Chinese gulag working 24-7. Alright, so let us check out another map. I want to figure out this industrial site port situation. So, ooh, we have the fly cam. That is perfect. What is this? So some parts, such as this one, I do recognize. And yeah, overall, it is pretty close. The exit is closed off. Let me see. Oh, there's literally nothing. It's just grass that didn't load in. Now, nah, bro, you know what? It literally looks like there was supposed to be some sort of, like, rally track or something. I don't know. You tell me. What does this look like? Now, this build is so weird. It feels like you're playing, like, an unfinished school project or something. What about an industrial site? So, I'm zooming out. What? There's two... There's three... Four racetracks? What? This area, I do remember. Like, we do have basically the exact same thing on the remastered version. Like, this is clearly the open industrial area. I have unwillingly come in contact with these dunes more times than I've pissed in my life. And yeah, this is all pretty familiar. I think they just merged this and the port. But man, these ambient sounds are so good. And just by hearing, you know there's the sea close by. I don't remember them being this good in 0.27. Now, East Coast USA. You know what? I want to try the COVID. 
Okay. All right. What is this cursed thumbnail? Let's go with the race one. Why not? Look at that. The game is lagging. And they didn't have number plates. Wow. Anyways, I'm gonna rev this boy, hopefully. It does not sound like the other cars we tested. Oh my god, this sound is so bad. Oh! What the fuck? We literally had a wheel launch into space. Alright, you know what? Clutch dump. Nah, man, the handling physics are so ass. It's so hard to drive. And the lag, man. Drift? I wanna test Jungle Rock Island. But the thing that kinda concerns me is that work in progress. Oh, come on, it's not that bad. Let's see why it's still a work in progress. Jesus Christ. Yeah, you know what else is work in progress? My driving. Every day my driving gets slightly worse. Yeah, this, oh my god. It does not turn. Is there nighttime? So we do have the environment. Ooh, we have gravity. Okay. And yes, we do indeed have time. Yeah, nighttime is one of those things they struggle to get right for some reason. But you know what? You have shadows, because at night, you know, you do have shadows. There's the moon. And this bloom, man, why is it so good? But yeah, as for everything else, nah. Nah. Nah, man, you know what? This seems pretty finished to me. And now, gentlemen, it is time to check out Dry Rock Island. This is such a myth for me, I never played it, I only saw a couple minutes of footage. So yeah, I'm curious to see what this is all about. Parking lot moment. Also, why was this removed? Dev. Oh, this is big. Big map. Oh, the lag. Okay. Yeah, it does not run well. Let's go off-road. Forget. Also, if you're wondering why I'm using controller and not a wheel. If you're wondering why I'm using a controller and not a wheel, it's for convenience. But you know what? If this video gets 30,000 likes, I'll suffer for you and try this goofy R handling with my 8 Nm steering wheel. I don't think it's gonna be fun, not gonna lie. But yeah, I'm trying to understand why this map is gone. Ooh, those reflections. Ooh. Man, how does it run so bad with a 4090? How? I cannot imagine how badly it run then. Let's do some comparisons. Starting with the number of vehicles. Beaming G 0.4 has 10 cars, while 0.27 has 34. This alone is very impressive, but it's even more so when you consider that the vehicles in 0.27 are hugely more detailed and feature a lot more configurations, some of which could easily be considered separate vehicles. As for levels, BeamNG 0.4 has 11 maps, while 0.27 has 15. This isn't as impressive as the vehicles, but at least the difference in quality is pretty big. Though, I do miss all the foliage we had in 0.4. When it comes to driving physics, BeamNG 0.4 is a f***ing joke. <laughs> nah bro, seriously, it feels like an arcade game. On the other hand, 0.27 is just a couple updates from feeling real. Graphics are weird. For some reason, I think 0.4 looks better in some cases. The lighting looks better and, I don't know, I really like the atmosphere it has. When it comes to texture and mesh quality though, 0.27 easily wins. Though for some reason, I think it looks a little more cartoony. Please leave a comment and let me know what you think. And with the comparison done, let me show you how you two can play this cursed version. So you want to start off by going to Steam and uninstalling the game? This is a warning. Uninstalling the game may delete all your game files, including your controllers, time trials, cheating mods, and the custom configurations. Please make sure to back up your files, you stupid donkey. And then, what you want to do is right-click on BeamNG, go to Properties, then click on Betas, and from this drop-down, you want to select 0.4. And yeah, that's 